What is the maximum beam span for a triple 2 by 10 treated yellow pine beam supporting a 4 feet wide deck, 4 feet joists, 12 inches on center? And what would it be for a quadruple 2 by 10 beam? Hello. What is the city and state so I can look at snow loading? Hi. Posted by just answer a customer's request, hello. I would like to request the following expert services from you, live phone call. Let me know if you need more information, or send me the service offers so we can proceed. Just answer didn't say it'd be an extra $18 bucks for a phone call. For that they'll get a harshly negative review. Please answer without the phone call. I have nothing to do with that. I will opt out of the question for you since the negative review is already coming. Good luck with your project. I didn't say I'd review you negatively. I know you had nothing to do with it, so I wouldn't do that. Thank you. What is the city and state so I can look at snow loading? Greenville, South Carolina. Thank you. Give me a few minutes to run some numbers. Okay, thanks. For the triple, it would be 16.6. For the quad, it's 18.6. I need to go 16 and I guesstimated about that from what I could find in tables. I feel better with a quad though. What are the dead slash love loads that used, and would you go for the quad if it was your deck? Posts are 6 by 6. I used 40 PSF for live load and 10 PSF for dead load. I would use the quad 2x10 or a triple 2x12. The controlling criteria was deflection, not strength, so it could potentially feel a little soft if fully loaded and taken to the limit. Okay. Thanks very much. Good review coming your way. No problem. I'm happy to help. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Still there? I have one more question about the quad. Yes. What is it? Just got back and saw that you responded. I'm headed out again, but can you let me know if those spans are good for wet conditions? The guy who's building my deck said the max span for wet conditions for a triple is 13.3, he said from DCA 6 span charts. And he said the additional weight of a fourth 2 by 10 would make it sag over time. Your opinion? Do you think a triple with two layers of half-treated plywood between the 2 by 10s, glued and nailed would work better? Please attach a copy of the chart, because that's not correct. Additionally, it's not correct to say the weight of the additional 2 by 10 would cause additional sag. That implies, necessarily, that a single 2 by 10 is unable to support its own weight over that span. The additional 2 by 10 is much better than plywood between 3 2 by 10. That makes sense. I'll see if I can get a copy of the chart from him. He suggested using plate steel, but I'm concerned about it rusting over time, and I don't think there's a need for it if a 2x10 would do the trick. What would be an appropriate thickness of plate steel across the 16 feet of 4 inches wide, 6 inches wide, 8 inches wide? I suppose it would have to be galvanized, stainless, or at least heavily powder coated to fight corrosion. I appreciate you continuing to answer my questions on this. Please send me an email me to at 
when you have a chance. Thanks. P.S. Trying to give you an excellent rating, but it won't let me do it for some reason. I'll keep trying. Steel plate will be much more expensive. It won't come in the length necessary and will need complete joint penetration welding. It should also be galvanized and then you need heavier bolts. It will certainly work, but will be more expensive. An extra 2x10 costs almost nothing. It should let you rate now. Thanks, rated you and sent a tip as well. I'm with you on the steel versus another 2x. You're a degreed structural engineer in PE, right? I can't see any profile info on you, though I thought that I read that somewhere at the beginning of the process. I may need a formal opinion for the contractor and that's why I asked you to email me. How do we reopen for another question? Instead of the triple or quad 2x10, the builder wants to use a flitch plate, half an inch by 9 inches, between two treated 2x10s. He says he can get the steel and it's cheap. I'd like your opinion on strength slash deflection versus the wood solution. Same scenario, exterior deck, only 4 feet from house to the beam, 16 feet span between posts. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.